If you think you know Bill Belichick, think again. In 2009, he granted unprecedented access into his personal life and his football life. From the locker room to the meeting room, the office to the field, at home and on the road, at work and at play. Meet Bill Belichick. You gonna be a football player when you grow up? Mm -hmm. Today is the best day of your life. Believe me, he might be the finest quarterback produced in the last 10 years. Philadelphia Eagles select Donovan McNabb. And they said, I'm the best decision this organization has ever made. You need to use day right. That's all I need. Fortunately for me, I didn't lose my life. I didn't lose my job. Football convinced me that life is a team game. That's right. It's a game for men. That's your life. Nobody can ever tell you that you couldn't do it. Was this the final game on the sidelines for a great coach? I want to thank you very much for making my day in the sun so memorable. Some serenity. Really worried about third and long out here. Next couple hours, just kind of wrap it up on Nantucket. This is it. So, you know, pull the boat in, pack up, head back to Foxborough. Players come in tomorrow. Training camp starts, and uh, I'll be ready for them. For Bill Belichick. This is NFL training camp number 35. It's where the circle of his football life begins each year. What's the story in this Rex Ryan? He's a personality. You know anything he about is. him? Uh, you know, I think he'll get his guys to play. I think they'll play hard for him. You like this team? Got a good team. How many was this? Seven years or eight years? Nine. Nine. Holy man. Nine. Is this the best group of players on paper? Yeah, it's up there. No, I mean talent-wise. Thank you, Greg. No, we got to do it. Yeah, we got to execute. I'm going to call out the situation. Pay attention. I don't care whether you're a part of it or not. First and 10, plus 50, alert for what? Okay, they have no timeouts. The ball's on the one yard line. Okay, so tell me what's gonna happen here. All right, we got 40 seconds, no timeouts, need a field goal, two minute. We good on everything, fellas? No questions, we're good? Those situations are just as good for the coaches as they are for the players. You know, because it makes everybody think about, you know, what do I want to call here? And like Brady, he's thinking one thing, and Billy, he's thinking something, and you want them both to be thinking the same thing, you know? Make them respect the quick counts, then they'll have to respect the motions. But, you know, we can't spend all day on shifting and motion on every play. We're not doing that, all right? I don't want to be talking about that during the game. Yeah, we'll I've said my piece on that now, but I'm just saying, hey, don't worry about if we got to make an adjustment on it. You yeah. know, like, these guys need to be able to do that. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'd like to play against you two guys. I would love that. 
Oh, uh, with just one play. <laughs> okay? You want to know something? I haven't. Bill, he's really relaxed, which makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah. Which tells me he thinks we've accomplished something with camp. Okay, everybody up. Here's what we got. Either one of you, either one of you catches the punt, and I'll take this for the night off. So that would be Vollmer, you, and Pryor. Okay. Yeah, Get back here at midfield. Seabass, can you catch? Yeah, you we'll see you in a minute. No chance. <laughs> he looks good, don't he? No bed check, folks. I'm pretty psyched myself. I never thought he'd catch that. I, I swear to God, I never thought he'd catch that. No meetings. No meetings and no curfew. Volmer got you out of it. That was the play at a camp, wasn't it? Seabass. Nice catch, buddy. To like 80 something. Nice catch, buddy. Thanks, coach. Nice catch. I wasn't counting on him catching that. Oh, shoot. For Bill Belichick, coaching never ends. Try to throw these with just one hitch. Whether he's teaching one of his players. Instead of like double hitching it, just try to throw it on one hitch. Or his son, Brian. And see how that feels. A nice ball. Nice ball. That's it. We're in a new season. Look, I understand it's not the AFC championship game. I understand that. Here's where we're all at. It's our first competitive opportunity of the year. It's our first time to go out and compete against a very good opponent. I understand it's not a game in the standings. Let me tell you something. If you're playing in a game or coaching in a game, it means something. It means something to me, means something to you. It's an opportunity for us to establish our level of performance and build on it next week. All right? So it's football time, fellas. Let's get into it. It is game one of the preseason for the 2009 version of Bill Belichick's New England Patriots. Don't stand too close, Light. If they throw something at me, they might miss and hit you. Are you going to keep the quarterback stuff today or no? Yeah, I think You are? So. Okay. All right. Well, how about also maybe just keeping a sheet of paper there underneath it and, uh, you know, as things come up, I just might ask you to write them down and I'll get okay. you from the after the day. Yeah, stuff that happens. So Welker, no go. He's out? Okay. He went through warm-ups and he said didn't feel good. So. Okay. So, uh, Wes, are you uh, ERW today? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eat, ride, and warm up. Yeah. Yeah. How's the camp been so far? Good. We're, you know, we'll see. Well, you yeah, got we're the, coming you along. got Tom Brady back, so that's, you know, a big plus, I imagine. Sure, of course. We're going to keep him safe tonight. Yeah, take and, good uh, care of him. Oh, yeah. Hopefully we can block him. Oh, okay. <laughs> And all eyes will be focused on Tom Brady of the Patriots. He missed all of last season when he suffered that devastating knee injury in the opener against Kansas City. That's about the only thing I can cheer for in Philadelphia is the national anthem. Yeah. Good to have you back out here. Yeah, it's good to be back. Have a good year. Edelman comes in motion right to left, direct snap to Brady. Double Moss. Right there, wide open. Fires left, wide Ooh. open, touchdown. Brady has looked sharp. Nice razor, Billy. Nice drive. That's a nice drive, buddy. Nice drive. The seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, number 11. Keep an eye on him. This one is coming down to Edelman. Heads to the right to the 30, 35 yard line, 40, 45 yard line, 50. Cuts to the left. He's to the 40. He's going to take it to distance. Julian Edelman, the Patriots' seventh round rookie draft pick. This is Wes Welker in progress. And he looks just like him on the field. It's amazing. Hey, Ernie. Is that the guy's name that played before Lou Gehrig? You want to look at these or you want to wait until the next? Wally, yeah. Yeah. You ever hear of Wally Pipps? Wally you what? Wally Pipps. Uh-uh. You never heard of him? Uh-uh. Yeah. Well, he played first base before Lou Gehrig. 
Oh, okay. Then Lou Gehrig started like whatever it was, 23,000 straight games. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the little man. That might be the, the punt man. return uh, story. No doubt. Hey, you can have it, man. Oh, there yeah, you go. Way, way to compete. Like way to compete. Yeah. So we're looking at Will Heiss. In the 2009 preseason. We're double covering this, so you get the night off. Hell yeah. Nice shot, Tom. Nice shot. Bill Belichick's team shows promise. Okay, good luck, man. Football team. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, I'll thanks. You too, man. But they are still a work in progress. All right, Brian, write this stuff down. Easy force, signal offensive plays. Contain quarterback, press the blitzes. Get more speed on the field. And then red area, like exclamation point. Too slow. Too slow. Well, the Patriots finished the preseason at 3-1. and one. That was a barn burner. The 53-man rosters will be set Saturday, and then it's get ready for the start of the regular season a week from Monday. Some interesting decisions now that will have to be made by Bill Belichick. In New England, the Patriots losing another key player on defense. The Pats traded five-time Pro Bowl defensive lineman Richard Seymour to Oakland. He's coming off a career-best eight-sack season. So now that the Richard deal is done, How do we look at this thing with Vince? What's the probability we can do this? The Seymour thing getting done and the distinct possibility of the franchise tag has got to help it done. But they want a long-term deal. That is where the leverage of the franchise tag, the only two thing comes in hand. I mean, the bottom line is he wants to be here. He wants to be a patriot, you know, so. And we want him here. All right, <laughs> thanks. When we return, settle down, buddy. Step into the throw, okay? You're in the right hands. So we got guys here from five decades. We got guys here who played in the 60s. This is once every 50 years. We better have a good time. <laughs> Heidi. Oh my goodness, it's raining. Hi, hi. We love having celebrations here with you guys. How are you, pal? Okay, we know what we're gonna do. Let's go out there and do it aggressively, and let's set the tempo early in the game, all right? Like we didn't do last year. Go out there and around for a quarter against Kansas City, and then see how it's going, and it's the end of the first quarter, and say, oh, gee, it looks like the regular season started. Unfortunately, uh, our coach, and the present day players is focused on Buffalo and doesn't want any distraction from that. And so I think all of you will understand that. There's nothing wrong. In fact, you should be excited when you make a play. Hell, look at all the work you've put into it, all the time that you've spent and practice of put into it. And to go out there in a game competitively and execute it well and make a play, you should be excited about it. And your teammates should be excited too. And the coach of the 50th anniversary team, the only head coach to win three Super Bowls in a four year span, Patriots head coach Bill Belichick. So you watch the tape here, and you see when we're playing with energy and when we're playing with emotion and when we're not. Nice play, Ty. Can't even see one guy saying, good hit. Walk back to the huddle and it's a god, it looks like we don't even care. I look forward to seeing you all. Tomorrow night at Gillette. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. We aren't good enough to play that way. I don't know that anybody is. So Gary, you know it's a good play. Just doesn't really register with anybody else. I probably should have had it last night and then Brady and yeah, you know, now you know Bill gives them the guilt trip, so <laughs> Just look at this right here. Do you think we were ready to play against Denver last year, Monday night? It's so obvious, it's so visible. And when you can show that picture visually to your opponent, that's what intimidation is. That's the look right there, fellas. It's gonna be a long night.
let's show the Buffalo Bills that this is a football team. It's not a bunch of guys running around out there in the same jersey. This is a football team. And for 60 minutes, you're going to have to deal with all of us, and it's going to be a long night. All right. Good luck. Have a good year. All right. Good evening, everyone. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's time for the season opener for the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. As I watch this game tonight very closely, I'll watch Tom Brady's left knee. That was the injured knee. It's going to take time to mentally overcome the injury. Tom, look. Settle down now, buddy. Step into the throw, okay? Uh, you're in the right hands. Throw to Kevin out here? I got drilled when I threw it. Did you get hit on yeah, that? Yeah, he was blitzing. I tried to flop it over him because the guy was standing right in, the, right in his face. Like the one to Maroney? It was right in his hands. It was over his head. Oh, that one? Yeah. Just, you know, just step into it, okay? Yeah. All right. Brady fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Benjamin Watson. 2.06 to go in the game, and the Patriots are within range now. Good drive, buddy. Good drive. Kelvin has very little return set up and chooses to take it out anyway. And gets hit hard by Merriweather. And the ball came out. Oh. Oh. Who's got it? The Patriots do. All right, so look, we got plenty of time now. We got three timeouts. Can we go F right and get the tight end up on the line? Yeah, we'll go F right. 40, alert, 50, that's not done. Let's go, baby, let's go! Quick, we set! Brady fires and throws, oh, touchdown! Benjamin Watson! Tom Brady, you are Tom Terrific! And the Patriots survive. Nice job, baby. It's like it used to be. Wow. Up next, on A Football Life. Um, I probably wouldn't have thought it would turn out like this that I'd be standing here, you know, like this. In the NFL, if you don't stay a step ahead of your opponent, you lose ground quickly. Prior to week two, Bill Belichick studies a familiar foe and prepares for his first game against their new head coach. I never came here to kiss Bill Belichick's, you know, rings. I came to, you know, to, to win. And when they come here that second week of the season, we'll, we'll see. Just from a factual standpoint, has anyone ever actually kissed your ring? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Where are your rings? Oh, they're in a box somewhere. Okay. Two of Belichick's five Super Bowl rings were earned as an assistant with the Giants, where he spent 12 years. His final game at the stadium before it will be demolished is a trip down memory lane. Run whatever you need to run to get there, because they ain't going to beat us running the ball. Okay. Lawrence's locker would be sitting here with a box. Like a big box that you pack dishes in, probably about three feet high, you know, full of fan mail. And the end of his rookie year, Romeo Cornell's daughter went through it, you know, for Lawrence. There's like $75,000 in checks in there, you know, game checks and appearance checks and stuff like that. We flush him out laterally, Lawrence can get him. That's good. That's what we want to do right there. Did Lawrence fall asleep in some meetings? Yeah, I'd say he did. Yeah. Yep. It's a small room. I'm just, as I stand here, it just, it's surprising to me uh, how small it is. And this was the coach's locker room. So that's all changed. Well, it used to be like four lockers here. It was, who was it? Romeo, me, somebody. I think Tom Coughlin, Parcells. Hey, don't you start giving me any check. You're asking me out. First down. You know, look, there was a good mutual respect there, and, and he was the boss. So, 
you know, I would tell him, Bill, this is what, you know, this is what I think we should do. And sometimes he would be okay with it, like, yeah, that's great. And then there's other times he'd be, well. Well, Bill, to give it to him again. Bill, give it to him again. Damn. You know, I'd say, well, you know, okay, we, we don't have to do that. You know, what do you want to do? Like, what's the alternative? And usually his response was something like, well, I'll just tell you what you're doing is, is, is screwed up. You know, it, this is screwed up. How do you want to change it? I don't know, but it's just screwed up and you need to get it fixed. So these were the old racquetball courts, and so there was some great, there was, I had some great workouts in here. Used to play Jennings and Parcells on a regular, and Randy Dean. Randy Dean was the best. Like, nobody could be Randy Dean. You know, I usually, I'd probably beat Bill more than he beat me. And then, of course, as soon as it was over, he'd, you know, light into about four cigarettes. So, what's the best memory in here? I mean, there's a lot of them. You know, one one would be getting carried off the field after the Washington uh, NFC Championship game in '86. We won 17 nothing. We're going to the Super Bowl, and next thing you know, two guys got you up on their shoulders, and you know, <laughs> nothing you can do about it. Nothing you want to do about it. You know, it was just it was just a great. It was fun. You know, it's on the front page of the New York Times. You know, all your friends, all your relatives, everybody saw it. I mean, they must have 100 copies of it. When you think about that and who you were back then, do you have a different perspective on it? Yeah. 20 years later? <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't have thought it would turn out like this, that I'd be standing here, you know, like this. Um, you know, I was just trying to establish my coaching career, be a good coach, win some games, and um, man, we won a lot of them here. So this is a great, it's a great organization. Yeah, it's hard not to get choked up about it. Damn, I spent a lot of hours in that room. Come in here Saturday morning, ride the bike, go through three or four games of the next team we were going to play. It's a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of hours here. Oh, I loved it here. I loved it here. Belichick's appreciation for the past is matched only by his anticipation of the future. And unfortunately for him, his last game in the Meadowlands plays out exactly how he feared it could when he met with his staff the night before. Right. I think Randy's going to, you know, we're going to see what they want to do about Randy. Yep. You know, it's just a question of really what, you know, what they're going to do with Rebus. There. If they are trying to match up, I think we want to be careful about sending them out to the right because that's where probably Rebus is going to line up. This is Rebus down here on 81, Randy Moss. Brady going to go deep for Moss. Rebus is there and picked it off. In the secondary, it seems. They run the seams, and they'll run Cotri on a double move. We can't let that number two guy go down the seam and kill us like they did on it last year. It's going to be those seams, Dean. I'm telling you, we got to take away the X, Dean, because that's Cotri. Sanchez looks right, throws a slant right, caught by Cotri, breaks a tackle, in the open field at the 30, right side of the 20. He's down inside the 15 and brought down at the 11-yard line. We can't leave Keller uncovered coming off the line. And if he's under center, that's where it's going. Let's make sure that that doesn't happen. Sanchez with time, throwing, corner of the end zone, touchdown! Dustin Keller! That's two down the seam. That's what we were talking about all week on that cover. Like, if we can just take those four or five things away right there, we're going to be okay. Okay. That's it. In a building where he experienced so much joy, Bill Belichick leaves the Meadowlands a final time with a most unpleasant memory. Up next on A Football Life. And then you can run him back on a cross across the field if it's like one cover. Right. You know, maybe have two plays like that in the plan. Oh, oh you're saying let Ed dive on it and then bring him back out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. let Ed take it.
Look, I'm not trying to give you a big pep talk or anything here, but I'm just being honest with you. It's the fourth game of the season, okay? We're playing the Ravens. But I'm just telling you now, this was the problem last year. We win 11 games, and we're not in the playoffs. Why? Because we can't beat the other good teams in the AFC. We couldn't beat Pittsburgh. We couldn't beat Indianapolis. We couldn't beat Miami. And we couldn't beat San Diego. Baltimore, they're one of the teams that's going to be in it for the long haul. You know it. I know it. They know it. I mean, I think we definitely got to be prepared for that. We got to be prepared for somebody just saying, you know, we're going to take Randy out of the game, double him, throw whoever else you want to, yeah. and make them beat us. And and it might be these guys. Yeah. You know, you know Foxworth, you know, is, I think he's fairly instinctive. And then Ed, I think we know about Ed. Our favorite. Ed Reed's Ed Reed. Yeah, he covers up for a lot of stuff. Everything he does, he does at, a, a, at an exceptional level. Yeah. He looks like he's guessing more than he ever has. <laughs> just heart, which is saying something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But boy, he's got a burst and. You know, he's crouching down low back there, you know, playing, playing real low. Um, but, you know, he changes it up. You can't, I mean, it's just so obvious when he's reading a quarterback. Yeah. Those receivers will run right past him, and he never flinches. Yeah. He doesn't even acknowledge him, and he's just reading a quarterback. Yeah. He's always moving. One thing about playing against Ed is you just, you're always so aware of where he is. It's almost, you know, it's not like he sneaks up on you, or at least he can't sneak up on you. But I mean, we played him in the rain here five years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, every time you break the huddle, you're, that's who you're looking at. You're not going, yeah. okay, let's just snap the ball and, you know, read this out. You're going, okay, where's he at? Yeah, yeah. He's on the quarterback. He's on him. Doesn't even take this Vincent Jackson <laughs> running right past him. Unbelievable. You could put, you know, Julian on the inside because Ed's going to be driving. Yeah. You know, and then when you break back out high to the flag, if that corner starts running high for the backside post, then you can throw the flag too. Oh, oh, you're saying let Ed dive on it and then bring him back out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let Ed take it, and then when Ed takes it, then he, then the Z whips it back to the. Right, 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 right. I got you. To the I flag. You. I got you. And then Ed's kind of in no man's land. Then right. you have everything. Right. And then Randy's in a tight split, and then you can run him back on a cross across the field if it's like one cover. Right. You know, maybe you have two plays like that in the plan mm -hmm. that take advantage of. You know, figuring out what they're running. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna go see Billy for a little bit. Okay. All right. Thank yep. You. Okay. Yep. I'll be right behind you going in there. Terry, it's Bill Belichick. It's um, about 10.30 on Friday morning. I uh, just wanted to call and hey, tell you congratulations on uh, getting to the playoffs. Um, we know the feeling of what it's like to have a decent year and, and not qualify, so just wanted to let you know that we're all behind you over here with the Patriots and I uh, look forward to catching up with you down the road. All right? Um, talk to you later. Thanks, Terry. Bye. You're the best free safety that's ever played this game that I've seen. You're awesome. That play you made on that out pattern last week. Yeah. Middle of the field making a play on an out cut. Give me a break. I look like the Pro Bowl. All right, good seeing you, buddy. All right. I want you to keep an eye on Ed Reed today. Yeah. Okay, how deep he's playing, how well he's moving. I got you. Brady takes the snap. Here's the blitz. Gets rid of the football. Caught Randy Moss. Touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Ed Reed came off the corner 
unblocked. It looked like he was going to hit him before he get the ball loose. Great job by Brady in the face of a blitz. Nice job. That's yeah. the way we got to play him. Right yeah. there. That's the way we got to play him. Flacco to throw. Looks. Fires right. It is completed there for another first down. Made to Derek Mason. Up and foul on the face all day, coach. Oh, you, Mason. Just you, will ya? Why don't we talk after the game, all right? Just shut the f up. <laughs> Can you look at the scoreboard? 27 to 21, the Patriots lead, trying to hang on here. Fourth down and four for Baltimore at the Patriot 14-yard line with 32 seconds left to play in the game. Flacco takes the direct snap, fires to the right, and it's incomplete. Incomplete, and the Patriots take over on down. Yes, sir. Nice job. The Patriots will come away with a tough win over a very good football team, improving to three and one on the season. Look, you guys did a lot of good things, okay? You did a few more than they did. That's a good football team. You beat a good team today, all right? We got to start winning on the road now. We got to start winning on the road. So let's come in this week and have a good week. Get ready for Denver. Enjoy this one. We got to start winning on the road, all right? Coming up on a football life. If you just take Moss away in the deep part of the field and get down on Welker, we're done. We're done. We can't run the ball. We can't throw it to anybody else. We're done. Let's begin with the obvious here. Bill Belichick against the pupil now, Josh McDaniels. Oh, hey. Hey, man, how you doing? Now, now I know why it was such a pain in the ass to get ready for us. Yeah. Hey, listen, let's make this a handshake, and we'll just wave after the game, all right? You got it. I'll talk you got to you it. later. You got it. All right. You. Yeah, thanks. You know, this is going to be a big circus this week, you know, with Josh and me and the Patriots and, you know, you and all that. All right, so let's just get a few things straight here. One, Josh has been here. Does he know us? Yes, obviously. All right. Do we know them? Do we know what their offense is? Do we have any idea what they're running? Bill, how did you first come about meeting with Josh McDaniels, and how did that lead to working with him? At what point could you see he was kind of in the future? Going up against Josh. Something you look forward to? Was there ever any time that you gave Josh some particular advice about that. Josh and I talk, you know, on a fairly regular basis, and but I, I'll just keep those conversations private between Josh and I. I think that's their personal nature, and so that's that's the way I'll handle them. Hey, Coach. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing, Carl? Doing well. How about yourself? Doing good. Good. Uh, talk Go about ahead, selecting Sharp. I know, we just got to suffer through one more game, Coach. <laughs> one more game, although... I feel better about myself after seeing those down there. I'm telling you, those are hideous. Those are hideous. Should have seen the they tried to put me in. Oh, really? Yeah, God. <laughs> so. Two minutes to go. Brady with his specialty right before him. Oh, look, we got plenty of time here. He's got to get the ball in the field goal range. We can't let them have it. First down, it's Morris. Ball is out. Ball is out. New England maintains possession on second down. Brady. Ball knocked down. And this time, the Broncos appear to have it. They do. Matt Prater will attempt to win the game from 41 yards out. The snap, the ball down. The kick is up. The kick is on the way. The kick is good. The Broncos win in overtime. The protege has defeated the mentor. Josh McDaniels is showing his emotion right now. Wednesday practice is over, and where do the receivers go? It's 
straight in, right? Right? Do we stay out and throw Wednesday after practice with the receivers and Brady? No, no, because we got it down and we're all set. We don't need we don't need any extra work. That that sums it up right there for me. It really does. No, the sky's the limit. There's no telling how good we can be. I mean, offensively, all really, we've seen this now twice. Really, if you just take Moss away in the deep part of the field and get down on Welker, we're done. We're done. We can't run the ball. We can't throw it to anybody else. We're done. It's a problem. But from the guy who snaps the ball to the guy who has the ball to all the other guys on the field, it's a problem across the board. We got to do a better job in this mills. I'm talking to everybody. We got to do a better job in this. We missed some bad coaching. Anybody got any other thoughts on the game? Kind of a nasty day. Oh really? Yeah, rain, wind, the works. I don't know if you want to go out there in a mess tomorrow, but that's what it looks like for Sunday. Okay, good idea. It looks like we're gonna miss it today, but it doesn't sound like we're gonna miss it Sunday. But you know, it kind of comes and goes here. It would have been good to have it out here. It sure would have. Yep. Could have practiced at eight this morning. We would have had plenty of it. <laughs> We're playing the Titans, all right? That's the team we got to beat, not to win. But playing smart and playing into the conditions and using those to your advantage and knowing how the game changes and is affected by those conditions, that's just playing smart football. I pulled out some plays here that I think are somewhat representative of the expected conditions today. This is the 07 Jets game. This game is probably the closest to the conditions that we're expecting today. We're going into the wind right here. Plays like this, where the quarterback can drive the ball down the field, okay, that don't take a lot of touch on the ball, we're not afraid to make this throw. Tom can get it down there. You just keep running, get behind the defense, and we're going to throw a couple of these up there. So this, this weather is more of an equalizer. Uh -oh. Oh, 
effect of kicking game will it an effect of passing game? It, will, you, it won't. It will affect the kicking game, and it might affect the passing game. <clears throat> An unexpected winter scene in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It's been raining all day with force, and it turned over to snow a couple of hours ago, and it's certainly going to affect the way this game is played. You know, I really think we ought to not be afraid of it, you know? Because it'll be easier to throw than it will be to run. Because you can't get any movement on the line of scrimmage. The lineman can't get any movement. Let's just look. Oh, man, this is a QB dream right here. Yep. Well, they'll never rush in this. Green Ellis, the running back behind Brady, takes the handoff, tosses it back to Brady on a flea flicker. Oh. Flea flicker. Look at Randy. He's wide open. Brady looking, throwing long and deep. And touchdown, Randy. Stands in the pocket, has time, now starts to run left, gets rid of the football downfield in the end zone, caught Randy Moss, touchdown! That's what I'm talking about, buddy! You know, Belichick's been saying to them, they haven't had big plays. Direct snap to Brady, clears it right, complete the fault on a screen. Go, Kevin! He's gone! Go, finish it, finish it! 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Brady's gonna have huge fantasy numbers today. Play action fake. Back to throw. Fires it down the right side. Wide open. Westbrook here's gonna walk into the end zone. Brady takes the snap. Looks. Rifles it right. Welker. Touchdown. And Brady has just done something this league has not seen before. Five and one quarter. In, in 15 minutes. He alerted it, I think. Third and one. Samuel Woods zero. Yeah, Woods zero. looking that way. To Moss. And he has another touchdown. Six touchdown passes in the game for Brady. Yeah, that's good. We made some progress today. 59 to nothing. Is that sick or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't never seen 59 <laughs> You're right about uh, that. All right, so... I can't talk about no more big plays. <laughs> Guess that shut me the f up, right? So, Brian, I was all week, I was yelling at these guys. You know, we're the only team that hasn't had a 40 yard pass <laughs> yeah. or a 20 yard run. They got three in the first half. <laughs> 50 yards, the attempt 50 to win it for the Jets. No, please. That's, That's a fake. fake. Oh my God! Pick it up. Throws it in the air, dangerously yes. so, and it's intercepted. It doesn't get any better than that. I know. Winning like that, and then the Jets losing on top of us. Oh God. So when you're sitting here today, when you know, like one o'clock, Dolphins kick off with the Jets. Do you have any interest in what's going on? Interested to see how that game comes out. <laughs> see this. Some way, both teams could lose, but. that one. <laughs> Did you get where it ended? Where do you end? That's the only thing that matters in golf. End in football. Yes! Midway through the 2009 season, Bill Belichick and the Patriots are near the top of the leaderboard. Come in. Come in. But in the second half of the season, the coach will have some critical decisions to make. You can say a lot of things about me as a coach. One thing I'm not is scared. I'm not afraid to go for it. I'd right, be ready on fourth down here now. It is short of the first down. The Colts take over. I just can't get this team to play the way we need to play. I just um, can't do it. It's so frustrating. Don't miss part two of Bill Belichick, A Football Life. I won't get mad, I'll just get even. A Football Life continues next Thursday. The conclusion takes you behind closed doors. One penalty, one mistake, ends it for all of us. An unprecedented look at one of the NFL's most brilliant minds. They throw something at me, they might miss and hit you. We sweated that one out like we always do. Settle down now, buddy. I don't want to give these guys the ball back. Behind the Glory, on 
and off the field. Yes. Bill Belichick, a football life. Next Thursday at 10, exclusively on NFL Network.